name is Dr. Victoria Shamingham. I'm the Director of Rheumatology at the George Washington University School of Medicine and Health Sciences. My goals as a physician scientist are really to identify diseases that I can focus on that will have impact on clinical care. I think one of the dangers as we see um, revenue streams for federal research funding becoming tighter is that the scientists tend to focus more on things that they know have a high likelihood of being funded. And sadly, that's sometimes the things that are slightly less innovative. But in the US, we put men on the moon and we have to be willing to take the risks to get to the next level. So my name is Brad Jones, I'm a PhD in immunology, and I'm assistant professor here at the George Washington University. The goal of our research is to harness the immune system to cure HIV infection. In the longer term, we hope that um, by studying HIV and its interaction with the immune system, we can learn fundamental le lessons about how the immune system works through several years of hard work and, and research and investment in federal funding. We have identified some really important problems that we're trying to solve now. So one of the surprises that we've found is that if we take HIV-infected cells out of someone who's suppressed on current medications and try to kill those with the immune system in vitro, it's um, harder than we expected. And coming from that challenge, we've started unlocking the, the barriers that are preventing that cell from being killed. And we're, we're really making rapid progress on that. But we count on a continuous stream of support from the, the federal government. And I think it would be a shame for our research program and for countless other ones around the country if that were to diminish or be, be cut off. Because I think we're always on the track of, of, of bigger and bigger breakthroughs. And again, identifying those solutions to the problems that we've identified um, with, with prior investments. Hi, my name is Aileen Chang and I'm an assistant professor of medicine at the George Washington University School of Medicine and Health Sciences. I study arboviruses, which are viruses spread by mosquitoes, and this includes yellow fever, dengue, chikungunya, and Zika. What concerns me most about funding challenges is that without federal funding, we wouldn't have research in these areas. And frankly, for a lot of infectious diseases, there are many questions that we don't have the answer to. Zika is not a new infection. It's been around since the 1940s. But we have not, until now, de dedicated a lot of federal funds to the study of Zika. So if we had less federal funds, we would have less information and less information to treat patients with.